All right, Gucci gang. God, this lens is sure dirty. Who suckled on this lens? Was it you? Anyways, hi. Um, I am so tired. I am, I've been a busy bee this week and now I'm like sitting here on the couch like, I don't wanna do anything today, but it's Thursday. It's a weekday. I should do something professional on a work day. So I'm gonna make my Big Mac chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna make one for myself, one for the man in my backyard, and one for the man in my heart, Joe Home Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm also gonna make one for the boys because apparently they identify as the man in my heart and require a sandwich. I don't have this recipe written down anywhere because it's, it's inside me. Inside it's a rip-off recipe of a Big Mac recipe I found on delish.com for like burgers. It's good, it's good. So if you're not into good shit, go ahead and skip this vlog because that's what we're wheeling and dealing in today. That good good. Let's take a look at the ingredients. The ingredients. I have about two pounds of chicken breasts. I got some pre-sliced American cheese. I got a head of iceberg lettuce. I got one round tomato and a white onion. For the Big Mac sauce, I found a recipe online that I like and I couldn't tell you where it's from because I just took a screen grab of it because I'm a maniac. But this requires mayonnaise. Let's grab the mayo. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Chilies, baby back ribs, mayo. That's not gonna be enough. Good thing when the pandemic hit, my husband went to Costco and bought a reserve of condiments when everyone else was buying food rations and toilet paper. He bought all of the condiment packets at Costco because he said, baby, when we're out of food, you're gonna be grateful we can eat rats with ketchup. So that's who I married. Not okay. We need relish. I know we have relish. This is my <laughs> stays eating tuna with relish. Where is the relish? Bobo? Where are you hiding the relish, my sick boy? Uh, relish! Boom! Okay. And then mustard. Uh, mustard barbecue sauce. This is right, we'll put this back. So let's grab the barbecue sauce. Where's the fucking mustard, baby? The mustard. And, ah, uh, good old 2020 mustard. Next, I need apple cider vinegar, boom. Garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and salt. I have my spices. Uh, onion powder, ah. ah, garlic powder, and paprika. Joe's family is Hungarian, so we always have a f ton of paprika. Never know when you're gonna need to make paprika. Now, I've accumulated all of my sauce ingredients. I think the easiest thing to do is slice up the white onion and start charring it or like caramelizing it because it's one of the things I put on top of the Lizzie Big Back sandwich. Okay, so we'll put our goggles on and chop that onion. Am I in focus? Who could say? Because I got these goggles on. I got the absolute worst manicure yesterday and paid $60 for it and I'm pretty upset about it. Now I take my chicken out of this shit. I'm not gonna rinse the chicken, is that okay with you? Yep. I went and picked up fresh breasts this morning. So I got two chicken breasts. I'll show you, I'll show you how I slice it. And I put a hand on top of it and then I slice it down the center like that. 
I just sort of haphazardly hack away at this titty from the center out. What is that called? Someone out there knows. Tell me what that's called. And then I leave those pieces like that and I wash my hands. Now I take my garlic. Oh, wait, I'm gonna prep the pan for the chicken and then I'm gonna make my sauce. Excuse me, tiny boy. Let me get my chicken pan. Now I'm gonna put my butter in my pan and warm it up first before I throw the chicken in. And oh, ice mask, those are nice for relaxing. This is about a tablespoon of butter. Probably need more. The onions are stirring nicely. Okay, so I added the butter, and now I'm also gonna add a drizzle of olive oil. And those will mix together. <clears throat> now I'm going to take my garlic powder and my onion powder, and I'm gonna sprinkle it atop my chicken fillets. You just sort of like drench it, you know? There's no legitimate measurement for this. Yeah, just drench it, people. Onion. I feel like onion powder is the true game changer when it comes to seasoning. Everybody should use more onion powder because it's delicious. Boom. Then we add garlic salt. All right, the butter and oil is mixing together nicely. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab these tong boys and drop these seasoning side down. Boom. Worst manicure ever, I'm telling you. Onion update, looking friggin' good, ladies. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna make the sauce while the chicken cooks. I'm probably gonna do like four minutes aside for like, God, 20 minutes, yuck. Sauce. I need a bowl, bitch! Bang! All right, let me close this. Put the garlic salt away. When you're done with it, put it away. That makes cleanup easier today. When you're done with it, put it away. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Ah! <laughs> that should do it. Two tablespoons of relish. One and a half tablespoons of mustard. Half a tablespoon of barbecue sauce one tablespoon apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, half teaspoon paprika, quarter, just as a quarter salt. Um, I'm gonna call that a quarter teaspoon of salt. Not to be like an absolute weirdo, but I refuse to taste this sauce until it's on my chicken sandy. When it's on that sandwich, I'm like, oh, give me more, grease me up, daddy. But like right now, I'm gonna lick it. Would not taste it. Hi, Icarus. Cute. I love you. I love you, Mr. Bugs. You love me too? Chicken's looking pretty good. We're almost there. I'm starving. Now I'm gonna prep the accoutrement, AKA I'm gonna slice the iceberg lettuce in half and the tomato for the sandies. So to do this, I cut the ass end off first. Then I cut it down the middle. Now I'll just take off the layers, which is hard to film. Let me see if I can do it. That'll do. Okay, I know we've given Ryland shit in the past for slicing or chopping with a bread knife, but I'm gonna cut this tomato with a bread knife because this knife is incredibly dull. And the serrated edge of a bread knife is kind of easier to cut something like a tomato when all your knives are super, super dull. Oh, also, I always chop my tomato with the stem part in the middle, uh, and it kind of makes for like a meteor guy there. Boom! And then I'll cut out this crusty guy. There's about, um, what the f that red blinking light? 
It wasn't flashing in like real life. It's only flashing on the camera. Why is it only flashing on the camera? What is that? Call Shane Dawson. I can't live like this. What is that? Obviously I would have seen a red flashing light in person. There was no red flashing light in person. What is that? Is that Steve Jobs from the great beyond? What a crock of sh not okay. Two minutes left on my timer. Oh, this is the background on my phone. It's a scene from A History of Violence. Joey. Joey, you are. Tom, sir. But my big Hollywood movie idea is to remake A History of Violence and use everything exactly as it is, all the old footage, but then green screen in a CGI crocodile pretending to be an alligator and retitle the film A is for Alligator, A History of Violence and the entire time the crocodile is trying to convince people he's an alligator before he has to go home and reckon with his past and his like dark family history. I just need $300 million to do it. I do think Vigo's voice could still be the voice of the crocodile. And also, it's so mixed up in my head and I've had this idea for so many years, I can't remember if it's a crocodile pretending to be an alligator or an alligator pretending to be a crocodile. If you're a zoologist, please let me know if you just saw that picture and you can identify whether or not it's a crocodile or an alligator, but the fact that I don't know makes this idea that much funnier to me and why it's an ingenious thing that has to be made. She's a genius. You're done. You're done. Not okay. The timer just went off on the chicken, so I'm gonna drop the temp to low. I'm gonna flip these bad bitches one more time. Oh yeah, they golden. Golden brown chicken my cutlets. Oops. Flip them honeys over one more time. Yep. And now I'm gonna drop cheese slices on top so they get nice and melty. While the cheese melts, I'm gonna drizzle some of the sauce in. Someone has knocked on my door. I can't tell you how much anxiety it causes me to hear a knock on my door, especially when I'm not expecting anyone. Like, don't, don't knock on my door, dude. I'm saucing my lettuce. And now, like, all I'm thinking is this is the last footage that I'm ever gonna shoot before I'm kidnapped from my own home and murdered. Like, that's what you do to a woman when you knock on her door. I guess it was Amazon. Not okay. I was trying to pour out these toothpicks from this toothpick jar, and they all just flew out because that's how today is going. I don't know, man, they look melted enough to me, so I'm gonna take that guy and put him onto that lettuce and feed it into the guy that lives out there in my yard. Put a little more sauce. On top of the tomato. Gonna put the lettuce wrap lid on top. It's a Lizzie Big Mac Chicken Sammy! Let's take it to the guy in the backyard. It's a Lizzie Big Mac chicken sandwich. It's a lot. I know, just take a bite though. I don't eat the whole thing in one bite, Snake King. Pretty good, but it's pretty strong. What it's do you like mean? A, it's like a cream overload or something going on. I mean, it is really good though. Is it Maybe different? it's just too much sauce. Too much sauce? Damn. But it is. I won't hold it against you though. I'll give it a, an 8.2. An 8.2? Yeah. Yeah, but Joe would hate this. Joe's gonna hate it. I'm bringing at least that sauce. I think I'm literally bringing it to him at EUX. Might be just too salty. I don't know. Damn. But maybe just throw that sauce on the side. Let him play with it. Dude, it's not too salty. It's hella good. I was hungry and my phone died and my camera died. I'm just going at it. Mmm, it's good. The sauce is tangy, not salty, and it's all messy. I really like Lizzie's Big Mac chicken sandwiches. Gonna give them an 8.3. Not okay. You just have to go out now and make the Lizzie Gordon Big Mac Chicken Sammy. You will not regret it. As I told you at the beginning of this video, we were wheeling and dealing in good shit. And if you're not about good shit, then you're not about this vlog. But that's okay. I still love you. Um, come back next week. I'm gonna make Halloween themed jalapeno poppers. They look like little mummies. They are very freaking cute. And I'm gonna take you on a journey through my creative process. See you next Tuesday.